I spent all my skill points on the Muay Thai clinch and didn't put any into jujitsu. <laughs> so I find myself, you know, when I'm in a under pressure, I do, you go back to what you know, which is the Muay Thai clinch. But can the Muay Thai clinch be used in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, whether you're competing in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or just rolling or just training? Um, can it? Can it? Can you? Yeah, it's grappling. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm totally a Jiu Jitsu master now. Yeah. I wanted Eli to do a whole striker versus grappler thing with me, but it's so played out that Dead Horse has been beaten. Uh, if you want to train with Eli and with me at the same time, you need to come to Hard Ready at Fit to Fight in Charlotte. Eli's going to be teaching grappling. I'm going to be teaching a unit on striking. There's like nine instructors over the course of three days. It's like literally everything. You got boxing. I think there's like there's uh, wrestling. There's um, judo. There's going to be a really good judo teacher there this year. Um, there's all kinds of self-defense kind of stuff all over the place. It's great. Jared Robinson, who Jared you're familiar Robinson, with, yeah. he's been on my channel a bunch. Mm -hmm. He's going to be teaching boxing there. It is, and I say, especially if you're an instructor, this is the event to go to yeah. because not only will you pick up technical nuggets, like actual techniques and things, you will learn how to teach because you'll get to see nine people do it, nine different styles, nine different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eight of them will be awesome. One of them will be me. I'll put a link down in the description below. Get signed up because these things always fill up. Yeah. Eli, I'm gonna tell you like the things that I'm doing and you tell me whether or not they're any good or okay. not. I default when we're especially we started from standing yesterday, like when we went. Mm -hmm. You and I started from standing yesterday right. and I immediately started fishing for this yes just because my it's in my nature to do that because that's the type of fighting that i do now you eagle-eyed uh viewers might notice that i'm doing this and be like that's not the right way to clinch right and you think that i need this and this i'll explain to you why i do it this way here in a second but what i've been finding myself doing when i don't know what else to do which is almost all the time in jujitsu class is i've just been pulling and taking my head and pushing it into that jaw yeah so yeah I don't know that I'm going to get a submission out of it, but is there something that I could maybe use that for to then... I got to respect it, right? You ha that's, yeah. that's what I found. It's like, you're going to do, do all kinds of shit to me. Like, you would be arm dragging me and, right. and doing all kinds of other stuff. But so long as I'm doing this, yeah. you've got to do something about that. So yeah. I, I, what it always happens is, it's time that I'm not getting fucked up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's, I'm yeah. just buying time. Yeah. So legit or no? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I mean, is it a dick move? It's, okay, here's the thing. I think that, that moves like that are legit if you, that's not all your eggs in that basket. Because like if I, the dick moves become dick moves when my only intention is to cause physical pain. If I don't have like a measured kind of like idea of what I'm gonna move on to, I feel I the don't. same way about striking on the ground. I don't have like, an idea. Striking can be used to knock people out on the ground, but no. the most effective and efficient use for striking on the ground is to advance position, to open spaces and close spaces. So as long as I don't have a, a better idea or a better plan, it's okay? Y yes. Wait, what? That's what you said, right? As long as I put all my eggs in that basket and I just do that, that's okay. If that's what you heard. All right, so then the other thing that I've been mm -hmm. doing, uh, and I want to talk about the can opener. Mm. The, we can't talk about a Muay Thai clinch in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu without talking about the can opener, yeah. right? But I want to show you this thing first. Get in my guard, bro. Okay. <laughs> so if you're in my guard, oh, I've know. been yeah. creeping up and creeping up. And now you Jiu-Jitsu nerds are probably telling me that I should be starting to like throw up triangles and all that, but I don't know how to do them, right? <laughs> so I've just been taking my knee and putting it here and getting this clinch and then just pulling. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that a is that a submission? Is that a thing? If I tap from it, then it is. Well, you just tapped. Yeah. You just saw I just tapped out a second degree black belt. Yeah, that like was, that. That was I was trying to stop it too. The um, I it, bet there's a counter. Yeah. Show there immediately the jujitsu guys that watch this channel, all six of them. Yeah. Right? They're gonna mm -hmm. show, they're gonna say why well, would just right? So yeah. what would you just do? Um, well, this is my thing about it. Like I, it's not gonna it's not gonna it might break my jaw. Like that could be like worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna pass out from this. Right. So that just means it's like it's a pain compliance right. kind of thing. So the thing is like And you are a big proponent I, of pain compliance. That's like your favorite way. He always says that's not okay. okay. So um, I'm gonna look to continue my pass from here. Right. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look to like continue coming around this way. So once I kill the angle, now it's gonna be difficult for you to do that. So yeah. it's it's kinda like whenever we discussed that nogi baseball bat choke, except that you can't really finish this from a bad position. So, so I can you just gotta finish ignore it. From it. There, or I can maybe try to help through here. But I mean, that's, it's, it's kind of like, if my angle doesn't beat 
the pressure and you like, are able to create enough pressure, I'm gonna have to tap before that. So that's a lead, so that yeah. could be, that is a move. Yeah, I think like my thing is like, I don't, I, I throw pain out the window when it comes to submissions. It's like, can it break them or can it kill them? Yeah. That's all I care about. And if it's not gonna break something, it's not gonna kill them, <laughs> it's not a real submission. The gentle art. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Good Lord. That's exactly it. Um, right. So Eli mentioned the, the Nogi baseball bat choke. Mm -hmm. That would be, this, that would be, as this fails, if you go that way, All right, yeah. that would be an option yeah. for me yeah. to get this into here. Mm -hmm. If you want to see how this is done or how to do these positions from bad submissions, okay, uh, or whatever, I'll link that in the cards up there. I, we did a video over on Eli's channel about positions from bad submissions. Yeah. But Submissions from bad positions. I want to ask you about the can opener. I have a funny can opener story. Okay. I went to a jiu-jitsu school. I did a two-week trial there. And I, I didn't know about That's his, all his training. Yeah. His jiu was his two well, time. here's my problem is everyone there was really good and I like can't break guard. Uh -huh. I just can't. Yeah. I just can't do it. Right. Right. So what I was doing is I was doing the old can opener. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it, people were opening their guard and then the yeah. roll would continue. Yeah. And then the coach, a black belt, came over and said, we don't do that can opener shit here. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, that's weird. Because <laughs> it's working. Yeah, like, maybe you should. Right. Like, because I'm sure that you would know, like, I'm sure you know, right. as I'm can opening, and opening, yeah, that's the can defense. opener ring you. Right. That's it, it, just that simple. Well, the, this, it's like the defense is the same as like a Muay Thai clinch. It's like because I'm right. going to open posture, my guard, I'm yeah. going to sit up here, and then I'm going to try to come through, or I'm going to try to come through, or I'm going to try to come through. And, You've essentially, yeah. Yeah. Um, stand up with me real quick. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just keep this, keep this, yep. keep this. Mm -hmm. You've essentially gone from um, me breaking you down to getting your hips back in. Right, right. yeah. Yeah, you've yeah. essentially and, done that. Yeah, exactly. So we just did BJJ for Muay Thai. Yeah, yeah, I nailed it. So I'm really lost between these videos that we've done. I don't actually know where we're at. <laughs> yeah. We'll call this one BJJ for Muay Thai or Muay Thai for BJJ. Okay. Right. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So can opener, what is your, I like, I don't have a problem with it. Like it's, it's a net crank and that's why most BJJ schools shit on it because it's going to be illegal okay. in tournaments. Right. Is, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Most, it, well, it depends on the tournament, but a lot of times it's going to be illegal. I would say it's it's probably a dick move, and you shouldn't do it if you are going crunk. Yeah. But if I'm going like this, and I'm just doing like a gentle, slow, gradual right. pressure, and, and then give you this, and so. give you time to do that, right. which I was doing that. Yeah. I might not know jujitsu, but I know enough about training to know how to do that. But he's like, we just don't do that shit here. Right. And I'm like, wow. Now I think it's a great move uh, because it is good. That, again, they have to respect it and they got to respect it by opening their guard. They got to respect it by making frames, kind of doing something to create space. And that's what you're just trying. If you're doing this, like again, to open the guard, then I think it's a legit move. If, now, if you're good at wrestling and you know how to position your hips and you can get good like control and posture and everything and finish the neck crank. Well, and like if you could, I don't know, like climb up like this and get them to where they can't get out right. from underneath exactly. that so sort of thing. I can't scoot, even opening my guard doesn't work very effectively yeah. to, to open it. So um, in that case though, again, if depending on the context and the rule set, Still a good move. Yeah, and for the MMA fighters that go to BJJ oh, class, sure. like this yeah. is totally how I would walk you over yeah. to a fence or something like that yep. and then do more. So I think they sh you should at least well, know how to do it. Yeah, I mean, uh, and well, I don't think it's a good thing to say we don't do that here, period. I mean, full stop. Like so that guy was just full of shit and didn't know what he was talking about. Well, I mean, it's, uh, okay. So, Eli Knight, second degree black belt, just said that. <laughs> De devil's advocate. I don't know who you're talking about, but devil's he advocate. He knows who I'm talking about. Um, I think that, uh, first of all, he, there, there needs to be better explanation. But sometimes what I tell people, because there's always the, there's no always and never and uh, whatever, you know. Except for that he always doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah. So <laughs> what I say Poor is Poor Eli, like, man. Eli, yes. he always, I, what happens when I make videos with Eli is I put enough time in between the times we do it that he forgets that it's like a fucking nightmare. Yeah. And he has to spend the whole time, wait, now wait, now wait, yeah. now wait. Yeah. Now wait. You're gonna get a call from the Gracies. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing with this guy? That's why I'm trying to be diplomatic. Yeah, if you wanna learn real, now all jokes aside, if you wanna learn real <laughs> jujitsu, go subscribe to Eli Knight. I'll put a link down in the description below. But continue, I'm sorry, I'll be good from here on out. I don't even remember what else. So I think though, is sometimes with newer students or students that you deem as like, okay, this guy doesn't know what the hell he's doing trying this can opener thing. So it might be easier to say, look, we don't do that here. Right. right. It, what it means is you a, don't do that right. here. Yeah, yeah, you don't get to do that here, basically. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's that kind of thing. Because I now, probably should be learning how to open the guard a better way. Maybe, yeah. But it's the other thing too is like, you know, if, 
if I see you do that to one of my students, you're brand new, I don't know who you are, you come in here, you're trying to crank their neck, and I'm, I'm like, whoa, you don't hurt my fucking students. I'm just gonna be like, we don't do that here. Like, uh, yeah. it's, it's like when your, your kid is playing in the road. Because I said so. You don't, you don't say, oh, sweetie, you need to come out. And you say, get your ass out of the road because yeah. you're gonna get hit by a car. Yeah. Right? So you, there's a time to tell somebody with a little bit of like gentleness, but there's also times to just be like, no, stop, because I said so. Right? So that's maybe what he was doing. I think that it'd be better to, uh, I probably would take a mix and be like, we don't do that here. And then pull you aside later, like, look, the problem with this is this, yeah. people are getting their necks hurt, you know, yeah. I don't want people to get injured, I don't want, you know, blah, 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 there's more technical way, whatever is the case. But, you know, I think that that's a little better, better approach, but I don't, I wasn't there. Yeah. So, you're off the hook. <laughs> for now. So why do I do my clinch that way? I do it that way in grappling, I do also do it this way in striking. For one, I don't think that this is great. This is okay barehanded. I don't think it's good in boxing gloves or even in Thai boxing gloves. And I think it's terrible in MMA gloves. This works really well barehanded. It works in MMA gloves and it even kind of works in boxing gloves if you give it a try. If you put your gloves on, you can kind of get a little bit of a hook like that. I got this out of an Anderson Silva tutorial. So there you go. I do it because Anderson Silva said, said so. And now yeah. they're like, oh, okay. Then yeah. it is a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. But you can still curl, pick your head up, Eli, mm -hmm. right? You could still curl this down and mm -hmm. you're basically doing, you're doing kind of an over the top yeah. sort of thing, this hard wrist curl and that can and break it, their posture. It still leaves your elbows like in a good place on my collarbones and, here too. And since you're, yeah. since you're knowledgeable mm -hmm. about strangles, what I'm thinking about the whole time, mm -hmm. I can't finish a strangle from here, mm -hmm. but I can yeah. restrict that mm -hmm. flow. So as we're going, I'm squeezing and squeezing right. and yeah. squeezing. And by the end of an exchange, it's like you just, didn't get yeah. a couple more units of blood to the brain. Right, it's like, it's like a boxing clinch where it's like, I'm not actually choking you, but yeah. like, you know, I'm not not choking you. Yeah, I'm yeah. not not choking yeah. you. But you actually do the tie clinch differently. You yeah, just showed it to me and it's starting to kind of make sense. Yeah, I use the Weapon X version. Nice. So um, this, this is the way I like because you can do this big gloves or no gloves. And it's pretty strong because I'm putting the connection on my wrist at the, the occipital ridge right there. Because I like using that word. That's a good word. And then the, the elbows come in here. So it's just leverage and I'm sticking that like right in that, uh, what is this, the sternal notch is where his head goes. So like if he tries to pry his head up right now, it's, oh wow yeah nothing it's locked i mean like i'm and i'm not that's all he's not stronger than me yeah it's all skeletal structure it's obviously not muscular yeah right. wow i like that a lot great and it allows you to to be able to turn oh, really well right and that's yeah that's that's my the best thing about it you know what? you can turn with it good um you know what the other reason that i kind of like this my version is because i don't actually have to have inside position to do it and yeah. the, you know what i mean like i still can do this and then i can still add that yeah, yeah i can still awesome. add that thing in there <laughs> so wow, we just came full circle. We just hey. made a whole real video that maybe made sense by the time I get done.